What is up ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are all having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my runner essentials. Basically, I love watching videos like this. I love seeing what other runners use to run and do workouts and stuff like that. So I'm going to make my own video. I did make one like two years ago, but I thought it's definitely time for an update since a lot of that stuff has actually changed. So the first thing I'm obviously going to start with is my shoes. My daily trainers are the Pegasus 37s. These are what I do the majority of my models with. I love these shoes. They do last a pretty long time and the price is not too high. They are 130 bucks at Dick's or Nike, where we basically you can get them. They are a great shoe. My old pair of trainers are the Hoka Mach 4s and then before that I had the Nike Infinity Runs. Now for workouts, I do like to use the Next Percents. I've used the 4 Percents. I've used the Alpha Flats and the Next Percents are probably my favorite shoe out of all of them. I do all of my tempos in them, all of my tremor workouts, all of my thresholds, basically everything in the workouts I do in these. And then after those, I have my racing spikes. They are the Nike Dragonflies. These are the only spikes I've raced in probably over the past year, but I do want to get another pair of spikes. I've been thinking about getting the Nike Victory spikes that everyone has because those are a better middle distance spikes. If you guys know any other great spikes, make sure to comment down below. I'll definitely give it a look. Now, after shoes, the next thing you're definitely going to need is clothes. Now, there's a whole bunch of different clothes you can use for running because there's a lot of different seasons you can actually run in. You're definitely going to need some shorts. You're going to need some jackets, maybe even some tights. Since it is winter, I'll start with my winter running gear. Basically, I just have a hat just like this. One of these has to keep my head warm. And then I also have a jacket. Most of the time, it's Nike because they have a pretty good thermal wear, which is basically like the little squares that come in the jacket. just makes it a lot warmer. And this is another jacket that I love to do runs and this keeps me super super warm basically all you have to do is wear like a t-shirt underneath this and it pretty much keeps you warm you know in pretty pretty cold temperatures that's what I really like to wear on the upper part of my body and then when I do go outside when it's super cold I'll just put on any old pair of half tights these ones are the Nike Pro half tights I also love using the Adidas half tights and the New Balance are probably my favorite half tights but any half tights do the job I do wear full tights when it's super super cold but in weather that's like 20 to 40 I'll probably just stick to my half tights now it's time to show you guys some of the things I wear when it's a little bit hotter outside so I'll start with my jerseys. Right here we have probably my all-time favorite jersey, the Nike NN jersey that Ellie Kipchoge wore. And as you can see, it has an NN logo on the top right and then a Nike logo on the top left. I actually had this one for a pretty long time, so it's getting a little you know, a little stretched out. As you can see, a bunch of holes. It is a Nike Aeroswift jersey. Along with that, I have one of my high school jerseys right here. I'm pretty sure this is an Aeroswift one as well. There's a bunch of holes on the back, as you guys can see right here. If I can get that. Perfect. There's a bunch of holes on the back along with the cross, which is pretty cool. And then on the front, it says K-Dance. I took this one from my coach. He let me use it for this year, so it's pretty cool. I love wearing this. You know, I can get some pretty cool shots in it. And it just looks like a pretty nice jersey to wear. And then on top of those two jerseys, I have an older jersey that I wear from my high school. I love this jersey as well. It's probably, to be honest, one of the most comfortable jerseys I've ever worn. There's no Aeroswift holes, as you can see, but it's pretty comfortable on the back. There's a little cross, as you can see. But it just says k -Dance, so pretty plain. That's pretty much the only jerseys that I wear. Sometimes I wear them over, like, like a shirt or something like that. And then I also am a fan of arm sleeves. Right here we have a pair of Oregon Track Club ones that are pretty nice. They're green and they're super, super tight. Keep my arms nice and warm. And then right here we just have a plain white one. Not even sure the brand. So yeah, the brand really doesn't matter. I'll wear any kind of arm sleeves. I just really love them to do workouts in. Especially when it's cold, they do warm your arms up. So that's pretty much all I have to show you guys for my shoes and for what I wear. Now I'm gonna tell you guys what I use like after my runs, before my runs, and basically just so I can keep running all year round. I think one of the best things you can do for your body if you're a runner is drink and drink plenty of water. Water is the best thing you can drink. It hydrates you, makes you feel good, gets you ready to go for your big workout. I always drink water and I pretty much always drink it in a Martin official water bottle. Sometimes I do like to mix it up with the Martin drink mix, but I haven't for a while since that stuff is a little hard to get. Now before, a lot of my runs, I do take some run gum. It really doesn't matter what kind, pretty much the cheapest kind I can find, which is right here. This is fruit flavor. It says you get two tablets in one, so most of the time I just take one. If I have a harder workout, I will definitely take two, but I'll never take more than one package, if that makes sense. Like for a race, I'll still only take two packets for a race. Just get me warmed up. Run gum is definitely a great thing that you can utilize to get more energy so you can run faster for your races. 
Now, right after my runs, I think it's pretty important to get nutrition in my body. Normally, 10 to 15 minutes after my runs, I try to eat. And normally, I try to eat like a banana, but I will do protein bars all the time. I have a bunch of different protein bars, some Gatorade ones, you know, some of these the RX bars. I do love RX bars. A lot of people don't like these, but they're pretty good. And, they, you know, it tells you what they have in it, and it's pretty healthy for you. So, yeah, I like to get this in about 10 to 15 minutes after I run because that's when my body utilizes it the best. And then one more thing I do before I go to bed is I do take some protein powder mixed with milk. When you sleep, it's the best time to take it because your body's basically doing nothing so it can use all this energy to utilize the protein that you're putting into your body. This is Beverly International um, Protein. It stands for Ultimate Muscle Protein. It does the job and it makes me feel super, super good when I wake up in the morning, you know, fixing my muscles makes them feel better. The next section I'm going to talk to you guys about has to do with mobility and stretching. Basically just a bunch of different tools that you can use to help your body recover faster and build muscle as well. So the first thing right here, I have a blue band. Now there's a bunch of different color bands and it kind of stands for like how strong each band is. Blue is one of the strongest ones. I think I think black is the strongest one. But yeah, definitely some bands you can put around your legs so you can do some clamshells, you can do you know some walking drills and stuff like that just so you can strengthen your legs and your glutes and uh, everything like that. It basically really, really helps with mobility and keeps you stronger and it actually fixes your form as well. After that, I'm gonna show you guys the roller that I use. Pretty plain, it's just a black roller. Most people use this. It's a normal foam roller. I use it before I run and I use it after I run. And sometimes I'll just use it whenever I'm feeling you know, a little bit sore. It definitely does help and it does loosen up the muscles from a night's sleep. Now, after I use the foam roller, I use this because sometimes there's a couple little spots that you can't get with the foam roller that you need to get down with this. And this does a great job. You can pretty much find these anywhere. I'm pretty sure I got this from the Goodwill for like five bucks. So yeah, you can definitely find these things anywhere but yeah definitely a great tool that I like to utilize the next thing we have right here is a leg compression massagers these ones are super super cheap I got these for eight bucks but I think they're like 80 bucks normally but still pretty cheap for leg massagers these only go up to the knees as well but one thing that I found about these is if I do leg raises and put these on at the same exact time they actually do really work well and they make my legs feel really really good and it basically just flushes all the lactic out of my legs and makes them feel like new another thing that I like to use for recovery is right here fit rx are pretty much just like firefly but I think cheaper and a lot of people don't think firefly works it might not work it may work but it can't hurt you so I use these things all the time but it's basically like a little machine that hooks up to sticky pads and it sends electronic pulses to your legs which basically makes your legs jump and jump and jump and it's supposed to be really good for you I think the number one thing that people use these things for is coming back for injury but a lot of people also use these just for recovery now I want to talk to you guys about some of the miscellaneous stuff so the first thing is on my foot right here we have a pair of Ufa slides if you guys don't know what these things are they're basically recovery slides that make your feet feel really really good and it's supposed to help you recover Hoka also has a pair I'll put a link to the video I did about the Hoka slides but Hoka and these are definitely my favorite recovery slides these might have the upper hand on Hoka though, I'm not going to lie, but Hoka slides are great as well. The next thing I want to show you guys is the watch I use. A lot of you guys will probably make fun of me because I've had the same watch for the last like five years I think, but it's the Garmin Forerunner 235. I made a couple of videos on these if you guys want to go check those out, I'll put another link up there. However, I am interested in getting a new watch. I was thinking about the Garmin Forerunner 245 or maybe a Coros watch, so if you guys have any recommendations, make sure to comment them down below because I would definitely look for those. But yeah, just the Garmin 235. It has a GPS, it has a heart rate, basically everything I need has bike, has run. So yeah, this is my go-to watch for right now. And the last thing I want to show you guys are the headphones that I wear. Now last cross country season, I probably went through three different pairs of headphones. I think I went through Beats, they had course, so I really didn't like those. After the Beats, I went to these little ear pods that were wireless, but one of the biggest problems was they kept falling out when I got sweaty, and then after that, I switched to a pair of on headphones that kind of like wrap it around your ear, but they were wireless as well. Those did a great job, but the overall sound wasn't that good, so now I run in a pair of Beats Solo 3 wireless. One of the coolest things about these headphones is despite how big they are, they don't move no matter what. I could do a 2 mile run in them, I could do a 15 mile run in them, they will not move at all. They're sweatproof, they're waterproof, and it doesn't matter how fast I go. I could do strides in these going like 15, 16, 17 miles per hour, or I could do a super slow run in these and they'll never fall off. So these are definitely my go-to headphones as of right now. They're perfect for the treadmill, a little bit harder. You definitely have to carry your phone while you go outside in them, but the overall sound quality is super, super good. I can barely hear myself talk and they just look overall aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, definitely a great pair of headphones. I definitely recommend. I do have a couple more of these I am selling for the low, so if you guys are interested in that, I'll put a link in the bio for these guys. That's going to be it for my video about my running essentials. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe and also check out some of my other videos i do have a couple videos coming up planned so make sure you subscribe to see those i'll see you guys next time stay safe and stay blessed peace